I speak a lot about data and uh, the information that's uh, available on, uh, on YouTube. Here I'm going to demonstrate something. And this is a, a very Mickey Mouse thing I'm going to be demonstrating here, but it's going to show you something pretty neat. Here you can, here on your page is export subscriptions. You can get all your subscriptions out. Now what I've done is I exported my subscriptions and I put them in a database. Here's my subscriptions when I downloaded it. Now I open that file up using Python. And the thing about getting data, the most important thing about getting data is to get that data in a form that is usable, that you can read it. This is nothing more here than to clean that data up. But what it results in is what's down here below. And you see it makes me a list, Tim's Eats and Travels, the channel of Tim's Eats and Travels. And there is the channel RSS feed. That's not his channel. It's the RS feed. Now what an RS feed is, it's open link. Now this is, this is all stuff you can see. It's public stuff out there. You're not seeing anything private. His RSS feed is the last 15 things that he uploaded. And they're listed here. But as you see, it's a very difficult thing to, to look at and, and deal with. But if you, but see, it has the description in here. It has um, the default uh, thumbnail. It has uh, all the things that he wrote about the, the, when he put it in, when he published it, when it was uploaded. But it's the last 15 videos he made. Now... This is neat. You can get all of that out of that. But then you can make a database. And here I've made a database. I call it Tube Data. And I've made a module, what you call a module, that you can import and put data into the database. There's the creation of the database. And all this stuff is available for upload. All somebody's got to say is, hey, I'd like to see what you were, I'd like to see those files. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll put them up and I'll put them out there for you to see. So now I took this file in the beginning. I took this one. I took my database here. I opened this file. I read it line by line and I inserted the data. Tube data insert. And if you look up here at my database, I have data insert. And since the name of the file is tube data, it's tube data insert. So I'm telling, okay, tube data insert. And it inserted every line into a database. And here it says post verified. It did post it because what I do is I post it and then I reread it to be sure that it was entered right. So here it is post verified. And it's all that information into a database. Now it's in the database. And I've got it set up so you can do a database help and it tells you how the database works, basically. Once you do that, you can run your database. And see, I run it and I write, let me write Bethany in there. There's Bethany Meyer, Bethany Meyer's channel, and there is her RSS feed. Again, it's the RSS feed. It's the feed. But I can go back here. Well, I'm not to that point yet. So I open up a second beta data database. Well, let's go to this first one first. So we're going to go in here and we do Bethany. We find Bethany. And we get the URL for that database. Then I can put that stuff into another database, a parser, what you call a parser. I can go here and say run. Okay, let's search Bethany again. And it works on upper or lower case. And it pulls out only the URL for that feed because that's all I need is that URL for the feed and I'm going to feed then I'm going to read that in a manner that you can understand it 
And notice I can write uppercase, lowercase. My database is made in such a way that you don't have to get, have the exact spelling for these uh, channel names in it. And say, well, what entry was that in the database? Where was that at? Oh, there it was, the number 667 is her channel. Now I said, well, I want to look at that database. And I copy this here, and I put it in here. What is the heading? What are the titles that are on that page? And that shows me all the titles on the page. It shows that there's links, there's a title, the update, anything, any information I want, I can tell it down here. Make a new database. Go through that file, through this file right here. Find the information I want and put it into the database. And what I wind up with is, for instance, it goes Jack Northrop. There is my channel number. There is one of my videos that was uploaded. Here's my channel. Here's one of my videos uploaded. And it does the last 15 videos that were uploaded to that channel. And that's all entered into a database, which is really pretty neat, I think. And it's all done by using Python. And this is a Jupyter Notebook, this whole framework, this, uh, this IDE that you see running the the uh, Python is a Jupyter Notebook. And it will, then you can go act, go down and say, hey, well, let's count the number of posts that were in there. And it says, okay, there were 15. And it gives the 15, 15 different posts. List. But it show, shows what can be done with this data. They go in there and pull this stuff out and look at it. You can, you can go in, you can take a database, copy the name of the place, copy their their uh, icon or their um, thumbnail, put all of it in the database. So when, it, when this database is all finished, when it's all done, everybody's entered into it. With the last 15 videos for everybody that goes into it, I can do a search in it and say, anybody mentioned bass fishing? Did anybody mention storm? Let me look up the word um, acrylic paint. And if that was mentioned from any of my subscribers in their last 15 videos, I could come up with it. That's what can be very easily done. And uh, that's why I love Python. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a, this is a fun thing for me. I love this. As much as I love making the making and making the drawing, this is my 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 second passion right here is working with data and information with Python. Hey, have a good day. Thank you very much.